goodness. All right, Māori are becoming renowned for their cooking skills. We've had uh, Sarah Asher, New Zealand's hottest home baker, Karena and Casey, their makatū master chefs. And now we've found a chef who's sizzling up dishes for the cast and crew of Cirque du Soleil. These bodies need Māori sustenance. And Charles Bergen of Ngāpuhi is the chef for the Cirque du Soleil stars. Ten years ago, I would never dream of thinking I'd be doing a, a, a really cool job like this, you know. No matter how many times I'll go watch the show, it's still, every time I see it, it's still awesome. Some of the stuff they do is pretty amazing. Totem's a production of 120 people, and for the last four years, Charles has been on the road with the show, stirring up 250 meals a day. The vibe and the atmosphere in the kitchen is good, you know, it's a, it's a comfort zone for the guys, it's a good place to relax and enjoy themselves. One thing's for sure, the food has to be perfect. The menu, the diets have to be pretty careful on what we feed them and how much fat and everything, just challenging every day. It's hard work that's taking him around the world. I've toured um, pretty much North America, like Canada, all over the US, and we've been to London. But sometimes living your dreams means leaving loved ones behind. Do you miss him? I miss him. I miss him heaps. You see, because he's, when he first left me, I was ready for him to go, to, to fly. I said to him, I've let you go in my heart a long time ago. Charles, go. I'm fine. So when he left, I cried for ages. And that's because he was going over to no one. But now that he's joined the, the troop, and they're like his family and they look after him, I know that he's well looked after, so I don't worry so much when he leaves me. Everyone looks at each other like we're all brothers and sisters, you know, everyone's pretty cool, you know. There's no egos, we all get on quite well. When he was a young, young boy still. Charles is from a tight-knit whanau who he thinks of every day. I've got a big photo album of everyone in the family, so my family travel with me, yeah. Before working for Cirque du Soleil, Charles was heating up the restaurant scene in some of New Zealand's top kitchens, but his foodie passion started at an early age. There's always food coming around and I could smell um, my grandmother making apple pie, like I could always smell that, you know. We used to come into the kitchen when Nanny used to make our... Um, Cakes. Yeah, and oh. you used to point your finger on it because you always did that. There was always a hole in the cakes. Yeah. From a little tutu in the kitchen to a passionate food connoisseur, Charles quickly soared after training as a chef. I was just getting promoted quite a bit because of my hard work. Like, pretty much I didn't have any days off. I was always working and... And if someone was calling in sick, I'll, always, I'll, you know, I'll be the first person to go and help at work, you know. A work ethic from strong family values. My grandfather and my grandmother pretty much kind of always pushed me to do better and, and want to be able to be better. So that's been a big drive, has been my, been my family and especially my grandparents, been a big drive. Because my grandfather was really hard on me, kind of raised me like I was a son pretty much. Do you want some of that meat, baby? High expectations pushed Charles to make his dreams a reality. I'm their oldest grandchild, so I felt a responsibility to show the guys, you know, especially now that some of my younger cousins have got kids as well. So if you do try your best, then you know, good things will happen, you know. Now he fuels the cast and crew for the world's most anticipated live show. I think food's a, a cultural thing, it's a good thing to be around. It kind of brings us together, yeah. You can't have a good day without good food, so even just every day, any people, we need good food. It gives me energy, it helps me recover if I'm sore. They always do a good job at giving us good food, all the nutrients, and it always tastes good. Charles is good, Charles is an amazing chef. In our culture, like in your culture, food, it's medicine. So if you don't eat good, you will be very weak. And Charles is very uh, aware about this because he's making food with his love, with his spirit. And that spirit stems from his whānau back home. I love you, my son. <laughs> Although Charles's performance is in the kitchen, his biggest fan will always be his mum. Proud of my boy. Really proud of him.